Okay, welcome back to this. We are in Aetherius, and we're gonna do the skull thing here. <sighs> Took me a while to figure out. I actually started this recording several times. Took me a while to figure out. But I, I think I have it now. We have to click two skulls in this room. Um, want to take these guys out first, if I can. No, of course not. Of course I fell down. Of course I did. Oh, that's fun, man. That's fun. Let's see if they have anything. Oh! They actually carry gold, these guys. And a lot of it. Oh! Yeah! Uh, okay. That's good. So, I need to get back up there now. And I need to click that skull and the one above it and then fly over to that place. So, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna quick save here. So, if you ever do this, you need to click that one and that one. I ran past these other ones and they just activated all sorts of other barriers and stuff too. So I was having trouble with this. So I'm just gonna start levitating here. So I'm just gonna levitate. Pass that one. Click this one and then levitate up to the other one. And I'm going to show you what we'll find. This one. Now we have to keep levitating up around this because this big rock here is actually a skull too. A big one. And Shogarath lives here. With his, all his friends. I think we're good. I think I'm gonna have to quick save here. So let's talk to Shelgarath. Ah, at last. I was beginning to think you wouldn't get this far. A dreary place, don't you agree? Oh, I agree. And guarded by a pompous upstart. He's no more a god than I am. Well, carry on. We will meet again soon. Unless you are not as foolhardy as you appear. So that's Shelgarath. I don't like him. Don't like him at all. I've never liked him. I'd His, the DLC in Oblivion. Was, I, th I thought it was terrible. People are like, "Oh, this is the best DLC ever," but I hate it because I hate weird stuff like this. Oh yeah, stealth and destruction, long blade and critical strike. I'm gonna have to save here. But uh, right here, right now, he's kind of a pleasant sight to behold among all of these enemies. And let's have a check. Seventy-three percent to level eleven now, so we're doing kind of fine now. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna continue now. So we'll just remember this room. There are only two skulls you need to do, and that's. The two ones facing this big rock here. And this big rock is actually a skull in itself. And then you can just go up. And uh, levitation. You will probably have to have levitation because I wouldn't have been able to do this otherwise. So yeah. Now let's continue on and see what we have in the in the thing here. Um, there is an elevator platform in the giant skull. It goes up and down as you walk around. Wait for the right moment and take it down. A magically locked door at the bottom will now be open. Touching skull 3 opened it. And behind is a large stone skull. Crouch 
to enter the room, then touch the stone skull to hear it say. Oh, crouch, eh? That's what I'm having problems with. Let's see. That's what I couldn't do in one of the previous episodes. So yeah, there's a skull in there too. One speaks for me, two serve me, six protect me, how many defy me? Uh, again, this refers to the skulls in the fire room. Only one skull faces away from the blind god, so type one. You know, I couldn't have ever done this without the wiki. How could you ever, like, figure this out? And then it teleports me in here, so let's quick save while we're here now. Oh yeah, I remember this also from some let's plays here. There are three skulls, no there are several here. There are many, nine. Nine of them. This is Shogarat's crossbow we're in now. It's called, it's, I think this is actually... Uh, now this is not really the last part yet, but almost, so we're, we're really nearing the end. You find yourself inside a small room with a magically locked door and nine skulls aligned on the shelves. Okay, so one produces a buzzing sound. Who, how do you know which one is one? How do you know which, which of these is number one? Well, uh, touch either skull six or eight. Oh, there's someone six or eight. Oh, here we go. treasure. How would you have known that? You have to, you'd have to reload and uh, save and reload like saves come all the time. Which I'm doing kind of anyway though. Climb up the stairs and go up the hallway. You will pass three armor suits along the way. You will also encounter a humanoid foe, an archer. Go through the door. Okay, so let's go and explore this a bit. Shatternack. Uh, oh. <coughs> How many of you are there? You hit hard too, don't you? And you carry no loot. Let's keep saving. So, is this actually leading anywhere? <coughs> There's more than humanoid archers here. How far am I supposed to go? if I'm on the right track here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I am. It's a spiral. Yeah, and it's gonna... Oh man, look at this place. What a dreary place. Can't wait to get out of here. Oh, just one hit. <coughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, here are the suits of armor. Maybe I could rest here too. So I keep my magic up and my uh, my um, stamina. Here's the archer. Uh, I'm gonna leave that. Let's quick save here. Don't want to lose progress. There's another guy. This looks more like a regular dungeon. Okay, so what's is this one you can just slide on down? Yeah, I think you can slide down this. Um, I'm gonna check the wiki again. Behind the door waits a knight. Kill him. Uh, you are in a somewhat confusing construction. slide down here okay <laughs> this looks like more like a regular dungeon okay so I don't recognize anything of this from the wiki now. I don't. Go to the bottom of the crossbow. What, what bloody crossbow? There's no crossbow here now. Jump into the pit. You will be teleported to us. Okay, so I should have jumped into that. I shouldn't have. No, hang on. Ooh. Yeah, I should have jumped down into the pit because it's going to teleport me. The Daedra Lords. <laughs> what? Am I not hitting him? There we go. Now we're supposed to check the map and we see... What? There's no crossbow, it's a sword. The wiki says it's gonna look like a crossbow, but it's a sword. Ah, okay, you see a gigantic sword is stuck into this island, but there are more urgent matters. Uh, those are the Daedra Lords. Well, they didn't cast any spells on me. I had an easy time just taking them down. Between two of these balconies is a platform. When you step on it, you will hear a voice in your head. Okay. Oh, there are lots of them. Oh, I'm supposed to stand on this. A familiar voice laughs mockingly. So, Karen of Anticlair, come to pay your respects properly at last. Uh, 
teleported into an empty room. Well, that's where I am now. Oh man. This is secret. There's a secret door on the north wall of this room. Open it and follow the hallway north. Okay. Yeah, you couldn't know these things without the wiki. It's just impossible. Now here he is again, the bastard. Let's make a screenshot of the idiot here. I really don't like you, Mr. Shogarath, but yeah. You have a nice room, at least. Let's make a screenshot of you. <sighs> Greetings, Karen of Anticlare. You, you dare much by intruding here. Nevertheless, I will allow you to proceed, provided you prove as perceptive as rumor reports. You may be aware that I am a master of the blade, but what is my favored weapon? Answered correctly. Then arm yourself. Is that a crossbow? Yeah, the wiki says crossbow. I, I guessed that actually. One of the rooms was supposed to look like a crossbow. I didn't see that, but the wiki says type crossbow. So, we're gonna do that. and nothing happened. Go back to the crossbow and jump into the pit at the bottom to be teleported to the island with the giant sword. Oh my god, what does that even mean now? Go back to the crossbow. Am I supposed to jump down here? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm supposed to jump down there. Let's go. That hurt me a lot. <sighs> Let's see now. Let's see the map here. Um. I jump into the pit. Back at the island with the sword, you will notice an open trapdoor. Go down the ramp, touch the left red thing, and the stone box will open. Okay. How are you supposed to know these things? That you're supposed to... Oh, man, the 90s... So what do we have here? Stone box will open. There will be more Daedra lore. Touch the small box inside and it will also open, revealing a white button. Oh, well, I don't see any white button. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. White button. Now we might... What? to sink down. The island 
will sink down to a gigantic crossbow. Use the platforms to reach the crossbow and step into its notch. So I'm not supposed to be in here. Oh god, oh god. What? Yeah, okay, now we're sinking. It's gonna be more data. I was standing in there and I got crushed by the ceiling. They're not shooting anything at me, so these guys aren't dangerous to me. I don't know why. I think my game is a bit glitchy. So... Step into its notch, turn around and touch the left halberd. How are you supposed to do know these things? Oh god. So am I going something tells me I'm supposed to go up the sword now. But let's check. Yeah, go up the sword as a ramp to reach a door at its pommel. Go through the door. Okay, so yeah. And these guys aren't causing me any trouble for some reason. Just a tad anticlimactic. Okay, the amulet has broken. No, wrong. So that has now broken. I still have this one and I have this. I could use this one. What was the hot key for that? Okay, it was number one, of course. Let's try this one. Yeah. Yeah, well, there we go. That's so I'm supposed to go through that door. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, this last section is pretty straightforward. Okay, thank, thank God for that. Just make your way through the rooms. Okay, thank God for that. I think the worst is over now. And for some reason though, those Daedras there didn't cause me any trouble. They didn't shoot anything at me. So it's a bit all of this is actually a bit anticlimactic because I think it's glitching. I think they're supposed to cause a whole lot more trouble. Oh damn, what was happening there? Oh god! Get out of here! Go away! I want to save here.
just going. Ah! Oh, damn. Yeah, one hit. These are really dangerous. Luckily, I have my bell with me. Let's keep saving here because these are da these are dangerous. I still want to explore it. What's that light? What a weird light. Let's see, there was one in there. Oh, that's a ghost. Here we are. Don't let them hit you. They're really, really powerful. Oh my, do I have to jump over these? Jump or levitate over the pits. In the last pit is a vampire ancient. Dispose of him if you like. At the end of the hallway you will reach a gateway leading to a gigantic room. So... I think I'm gonna just levitate. And we're gonna rest on the other side. If We're gonna see if there's a vampire there. Yeah, I think there's something at least. Yeah. Could probably plunder him though. Yeah, that's the gigantic room. Uh, I think we're gonna rest here. You cannot sleep now. Oh yeah, I'm levitating. Can't do that while levitating. Let's quick save. So I think the mantella is in there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to levitate over. Make your way over to the shrine and in its center you will find the object you have come for. Yeah, so I'm gonna levitate over there. My levitation is wearing off now, so I'm gonna cast a new one. And. Uh, Yeah, there we go. That's the Mantella. Which places us back here. Okay. Nolfaga crackles. Cackles. Not so fast, Karen of Anticlare. Don't you want to see the result of your handiwork? Look now in the Book of the Time. Read upon its pages the history of what shall pass within the next few days. Read fate as it shall be recorded upon the Elder Scrolls. Great Numidium, its raw power tempered only by the blaze, crushes all the rebellious children of the Empire, destroying their armies. Your work is done, Karen of Anticlare. The world is no longer as it once was. Such is the way of things. Oh, and if you tell me my lich statue... Oh, if you tell my lich statue to shut up, the door to my chamber will open. Yeah, that's it. That was the main quest of Daggerfall. I actually... I've actually done it then. I'm, st I'm still levitating. There were a few glitches. So it wasn't really 100%, I think. Uh, I might actually do it again at some point. Uh, 
Let's let the levitation wear off here. Yeah, there we go. Let's throw the things. Oh, that's gonna fetch a good price, isn't it? That's a that's a daedric item. And we have twenty of those. Yeah, that's it. I'll be out in the world again on a snowy day. Having done the main quest of Daggerfall. That was quite quite an adventure, wasn't it? So let's go back to Holly. Yeah, that's the first time in my life I've done the Daggerfall main quest. I might actually do it at some point again because I think it glitched at some point or some instances here and I didn't get the full full thing out of it so I might actually do it again at some point when Daggerfall Unity is fully released and, uh, and when it's 1.0 which is gonna be reportedly I, I'm recording this on in late November 2023 and this video is probably going to go up in early January, I think. I think it might be 24. Uh, and I think by then, Daggerfall 1.0 was going to be out. So I might actually do the main quest even one more time. I'm not done with Karen yet. She's still going to go into retirement. So I'm going to make a, an episode of that too. So there's at least one one episode left. We're gonna go and have a drink here at one of our regulars, regular places. You guys n don't know what I've done. You don't know where I've been. At least I'm glad I've done it. And seen the ending of it. Oh, that's Orkish. So now we're ge go getting into Orkish. with a letter of credit. Nice. Yeah, it is kind of empty. There's like... You could continue playing this for like forever now, doing the main... Uh, doing the smaller quests. And so that's something I like, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put Karen into retirement now. And we're going to do that in the next episode. We're going to find her a nice place to live and just send her off to retirement. And the next character I create might be let's 
deposit 35,000. What do you mean I don't have an... Oh, I have a letter of credit. How much do I see my letter of credit? How much? It says gold pieces, but I don't know how much my letter of credit is. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, so I just put them all in. Okay, let's put in 19,000 more. So I have 544,000 in my bank account. That's an impressive, impressive sum of money, I think. Um, 20 Lich Dusts have we collected during this Let's Play series. I could go and sell these, but I'm not gonna bother. I didn't need the potions either. the nightly order where we've done so much and all our friends here and Mordor he hasn't been very kind to Karen uh, so that relationship came to nothing but these are all our friends for meritous service and unswerving loyalty to the ideals of the Knights of the Flame, you have been awarded the title of Marshal within the Order. As a symbol of your fellow Knight's estimation, we have elected to present you with a new piece of armor. Congratulations, Marshal, with the two L's, Karen of Anticlare. I wonder how high up you can get in the Knightly Order. Marshal sounds really, really high up. Let's see on the wiki here. Uh, knight... Knightly Order. Daggerfall. No. Knightly Orders. Yeah, so I have two ranks left, but I'm rank seven. Marshall is rank seven out of ten. So yeah, that's rather high up. That's pretty cool. Ebony Greaves. I have Greaves, don't I? I have Adamantium Greaves, I think. Ebony left. Yeah, Ebony is even better. So let's go with the Greaves. I think. Ebony Greaves, plus 17 to armor. She looks awesome now. Yeah, so this has been really such a lot of fun. Um, I think we're gonna put her into retirement already. So goodbye, fellow knights. I'm gonna go into retirement now. I'm never gonna return. I've done my thing here that we were sent here to do. And uh, 
I have like 20 minutes left, so I think we're gonna end the series with, with this episode, actually. I'm gonna take out all my money from the bank. <sighs> Withdraw. 544,366. You cannot carry that much gold. Oh yeah, I have to do it here as a letter of credit. 544,366. You do not have that much in your account. I need to have the full amount of the letter of credit plus a 1% fee. Okay, so he needs a fee and I'm supposed to... Okay, let's just take 540,000. No? Yeah, 1%. So let's just take 525,000. Leave the rest in the account then, because he's gonna be an idiot, like most bankers in the world. Most, not all. Uh, now I want to find a little village for her to settle, but kind of near Holly too. And we're gonna buy a house. Chester Ridge, that sounds so quaint. Like a little village. Penley, oh that sounds... All these... Warbeth. Greycart. Pensher. Oh, all of these places sound really quaint. Let's, let's actually do Penley because that sounds most quaint. So let's travel there. We have no time constraints or anything to worry about. <laughs> Mercantile skill improved. See, I want to settle her forever in a place like this. So we need to find her nice house now to buy. Like this one, for example. Is there a pub here? Karen will be needing a pub too. Yeah, two blocks. A shop and a pub. Yeah, this is exactly the kind of place I want. Let's go check the pub first. Talk to the locals a bit. Because we're moving in. Maybe that house. No, that's a shop actually. And a big one too. The Black Gin. This is going to be my new regular place. Going to be here a lot. Reminiscing about old adventures. With these nice locals here, Elisira and Gondester and Alabaster. <coughs> so yeah, we need a nice house now. I'm really looking at this one. Let's go in and see how it looks like. Oh, that one. I want something cozy. Yeah, it's a little bedroom and wardrobe there, like a kitchen here, no. let's check this one. There's a guy in the bedroom just sitting, loitering there. Nice little kitchen area too. Attic there, wardrobe. Maybe not. Maybe not, 
Maybe something smaller and cozier like this. Uh, or, yeah, nah. That's too small. Karen is a rich woman now. This one. Yeah, this is exactly what, what I want. Yeah, be nice bedroom. And a cozy fireplace to sit and read books and everything. And yeah, this is exactly, this is cozy and nice. Now, how was it? Should I talk to her in steel mode? I think it was. Are you interested in buying my house? I'm willing to part with it for 330,000 gold pieces. Yes. Name this house. Karen's house. Then it's settled. The house is yours. Now give me a little time to pack up and leave. Okay. Thank you, Victessa. So now I'm, an o I'm the owner of this nice house here. Is this quite cozy? In Penley. Karen's house. And she's gone. And this is now mine. Let's quick save here. Don't know why, but let's quick save here. Let's go to the pub. Uh, kind of a shop is this? It's a general store. Yeah, this is the perfect place to live out the rest of my days. Perfect. I have a shop here I can go. Ah, okay. Yeah, I was talking to him in the steel mode. Now we're in dialogue. Let's see if I have anything to sell. Yeah, I have an amulet and a ring. Casual cloak. Okay, the god, I can sell that. She still has 196,000 to live on. So that's gonna last quite a while. So she's gonna have a comfortable retirement here really comfortable retirement let's go for a drink let's get drunk really drunk at the black gin here with our friends you are not hungry okay but I'm, I want to be drunk is what I want to be I've done the thing now oh I've done the main quest Anyone have a quest for me? That lousy. Someone has been spreading rumors that I need help. I don't need any help in anything. Okay. I would have helped you, though. Yeah. Look at that. Karen's house. So we're gonna go home now. And... Um, Yeah, this has been a good let's play. I'm gonna end it with this episode now. We're gonna remove the armor, the sword. And we're gonna dress in civilian clothing now. So she can live out her days here. She has accomplished a lot. She has a lot of items. She can live out her days in very comfortable retirement. She's gonna stuff this away now, keep it as keepsakes. She has a very impressive collection of lich dust. And yeah, this has been a fun, fun let's play. It's absolutely epic in my, in my eyes. Uh, there were a couple of glitches, 
So I'm gonna do this, I think I'm gonna do this, this actually again after 1.0 comes out. As I said, I think it's gonna be at the end of 2023 20, here now. And I'm gonna do the main quest again, I think, because there were a couple of small things that I... I didn't get the full, full experience, I think. Yeah. But for now, we are going to leave Karen here in Penley, in her little house, with her own thoughts and, yeah, memories of what she did during these years when she was the hero of Daggerfall. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if, it, if there's anything more I have to say about this now, other than uh, keep your eyes open for more Daggerfall, because I'm not going to leave this game alone. I really like it. It's great. So, yeah. Well, bye for now. I thank you for watching.